<laughs> so today I'm gonna show you how we uh, teach our puppies to um, start wearing uh, collars and of course that can lead into like wearing harnesses and just basically getting used to uh, different kinds of things. So we actually start uh, by game. So we try to do everything uh, as much as fun and games as possible. So we actually got this uh, ring, which is a, a, a puppy toy or dog toy, uh, a couple of weeks back. And we started putting it on the puppies when it was even bigger. So it was really easy for them to get it over their head and get rid of it whenever they wanted to. So they kind of play with it. And because they play with it, they don't even realize it is something that like they're actually wearing. <laughs> so we started with that one first. And now um, <clears throat> we're switching to collars already. And the collars are already, they're not like super tight. They're also not super loose. So they're already uh, made <laughs> so that the puppies actually feel them more. Like they feel they're actually wearing something around their neck. Um, so we try that everything is a part of a game. And as you see, uh, they didn't even realize it because they already had that uh, experience of having a little ring around their necks. And next thing is I want them to put their mind and focus on as much other stuff as possible and not the collars necessarily. Uh, so you see they're doing really good. They don't even care that they have something on their necks. Uh, they're five and a half weeks right now. You can start earlier. Um, um, I have started the puppies earlier as well. Maybe I have four weeks. Uh, so yeah, so we do things like a little bit of kibble or some treats. And of course we can do a little tug of war, uh, bring out toys and let them play with the toys. <sighs> Hi, you guys. This is their favorite. Uh, parrot. They totally love it. It's really disgusting. It's like super wet and yeah. <laughs> From the saliva. Do you want to play? Do you guys want to play? Do you want to play? Want to catch the parrot? There you go. Yay. And there's a llama. There's a little llama here too. There you go. And one of their most favorite toys is actually a mop for like one dollar from a dollar store. And they actually play a tug of war even with their mama with it. Monkey, monkey, do you want to play with it? Do you want to play? Do you want to play, monkey? Yeah. You're crazy, guys. You're crazy, guys. So you see, like, they don't really care at all. And what I have is two different colors. So, I mean, they're the same style, but one is a bit wider. And so what we do is we switch them around. So... <laughs> they wear like a little different size. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. And the most important thing, uh, especially in the first uh, stages, uh, is you don't want to apply any kind of pressure. You don't want to be really uh, turning the puppy's attention towards those collars. Uh, <laughs> once you're a bit further, come on you guys, come on, once you're a bit further <laughs> with this, what you can do is you can like randomly touch them and like also touch the collar. Okay, monkey, you're not helping. Come here. So like I'm doing now, you can just kind of like super gently touch it, super gently pull it. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Mwah. Good baby. Like this. So there again uh they're getting aware of that there is maybe something like touching their body a bit more uh when i mean i mean like the collar but still it's not anything that uh that feels like pressure or feels harmful or feels weird or something that they should be scared of just like that so you can do these little games yeah 
And then now uh, if you want, you can just like leave them for a while, let them play and let them maybe fall asleep with those collars on uh, for a while. But the most important thing is we never leave them unattended. Come on guys. Come on, come on babies. Hi. We never leave them unattended when they're wearing them. They're too small for that. And since the collars are quite loose, they could get them in their mouth and they could hurt their jaws and stuff like that. So we don't want that. We don't want them to get stuck on maybe furniture and things with those collars on. So make sure when you do that, when you train them like this, that you take them off uh, when you're not around. Yeah, now you're aware that you have something around your neck. Good boy, good boy. Look at that, look at that. They're so much fun. Yeah, the parrot's much better than the llama because it has this like nice squishy down. Yeah, you wanna play tug of war? There you go, buddy. Yeah, so that's about it. Nothing super uh, sophisticated, simple, natural, without any pressure. And we'll show you when they get bigger, the next phases of this kind of training. See you next time.